Hey, good evening, everybody. Up around the edges, a long way from snow. Probably would not be welcome at your Sunday school. Get you a cup of coffee or beverage of your choice and kick back and watch and listen to some of the best and positive message country music. We're going to have a good time here tonight and uh, I guess I'll call out a few names and see what's going on here. We got Judy. Hey, hey Judy. Terry Allman, Claudia Flack. We got Connie Holcomb, Cindy Gilmore. We got Shirley Turner Lee. Uh, and I just lost a bunch of you, but I know you'll be back there. That's <laughs> all right. Brenda Lee Booth, Dorothy McCullough, Denise, Eleanor McCray, David Lee Shelby, David Rivera. Oh, look at all you folks. Mary Ordway, Dana Wooster. I see some new names. Hey, we'll probably try to catch you and get some more of them, but let's do this right here. Do a little something country. How about it? If you need someone to make you happy, do you? If you search for love or a reason just to smile. Hey, if every road you take just don't take you anywhere, then there's something I Say, oh, but something you need to hear. You will stop searching when you start serving Jesus Christ. You'll be happy, oh, when He is in your life. Seek Him with your whole heart, and you'll 
got my feeling like going ahead and doing it. I guess it's those comments I read through every day that get me stirred up and I start thinking about you guys. And, uh, you know, comments like, man, I was having a rough day and, and your show came on and it really made me feel better. Took my mind off some things I, I didn't need to be thinking about. And, uh, you know, comments like that, you may think that uh, I don't read them or don't see them, but I try to see as many as I can. I really do make an effort. And uh, you guys touch my heart. Uh, just lets us know that what we're all doing is working and it's part of a bigger plan and I believe that bigger plan tonight is to encourage you and bring back some memories. I can't get your mama on the phone, but I tell you right now, God can give you some strength and bring back the good memories. Here it is, if there's a phone in heaven. side of the cross cup tonight or your phone in heaven coffee mug we happen to have those at mikemanuel.com as well as those beautiful t-shirts that are right there on the screen in front of you and i'm telling you right now they're good quality those are the haynes tagless that's really cool i like those tagless ones they don't hit your neck but uh good quality t-shirts and of course we try to get them to you just as fast as we possibly can 
Let me read a few comments here. Let's see. People really just missing their mama right now. There's old Cody. Hey, Cody, how you doing, buddy? Ralph Lucas, Billy Joe Lee, Dolores Vanover, Michelle Weber, Cindy Barrow. Good to see you on here tonight. Amanda Flint, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Diane, awesome, awesome, awesome to see you on here. All of our friends, God bless all of you. Brenda, neighbors, yeah, let's see who else. Who else? Fran Francis. And, and folks, I hope that uh, our contest that we've been doing nightly is catching on. <clears throat> You're starting to get the hang of what it is. It's really very simple. We post the link on our fan page, on our Facebook fan page. And you click that link. Go sign up. It's a new link every time. And by signing up, what it does is it gives you a link that connects whoever you share to that link with, whether it's through a text, email, or just on Facebook. Everybody that comes and hits on that link, then it connects them to you, and you get a point, and whoever gets the most points uh, will take home a free CD. I say take home, <laughs> act like you're here with me. See, I feel like you're right here with us, but we'll send you a free CD for that night. And so it's just uh, it's a way for us to give back, but it's also a way to motivate you to invite more and more people to come and be a part of what we're doing here Mission Country on the Low. And there's Joan Lofton. Oh, Joan, you're just so sweet. I, I don't know how you get that many hearts on there in one post. Patty Hanson, Mona Hickey, Connie Bryant, Connie Sue Musgrave. God bless all you, you people. Patsy Creekmore, Heidi Herring, Marjorie Harper. Oh, wow. Anyway, I got a i got to drink me a little more coffee and get to singing here. I appreciate you guys. I know uh, some of you have been praying for me. You say, look like I've been a little tired and you've been praying for me. And I have, We've been working really hard last year, and especially up through the end of the year. And so I'm sure that uh, there was nights that I could have used a little boost. But uh, I want you to know that. We feel good, and we, you know, our body's got to have a little rest, and every once in a while, we'll take a break. But uh, we're all right, and we do appreciate your prayers and your concern, your wonderful thoughtfulness. That's uh, that's very kind of you to be so thoughtful to, to pray for us, and uh, you know, we're we're all part of a great mission here, and that is to reach as many people we can with the good news and a good message. You know, there's a lot of bad news going around in the world. As a matter of fact, that's uh, why I don't watch the news because they don't really have anything good to say and they seem to get excited about the bad stuff. And that's just not the kind of stuff I want going through my mind. So I choose to uh, not watch that and not fill my mind. And, you know, there's a... I, I didn't mean to get churchy on you here on Saturday night. I think it's Saturday night. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I might have missed a day. Hey, Greg Dodson, good to see you on here. Uh, Greg plays uh, our music on his radio station, and we really appreciate that. But uh, anyway, I, I forgot what I was talking about now. I got sidetracked there a little bit. But we love you, and uh, we're going to continue to do what God's called us to do. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to I was going to hit hit on a little Bible uh, quote there. It talks about what sort of things are good, lovely, of good report, you know, that have virtue. Think on these things. And and uh, if I could just kind of give you the old Mike Manuel translation of that, it's just simply don't fill your mind with things that are negative, that don't produce, that don't do anything good for you, but think on the good things. Think of the good times. It, even like that song, Phone in Heaven, you know, you you had a relationship with your mother, perhaps. somebody, Some people have, and it's been rocky, and it hasn't been the best. But uh, I encourage you tonight to think on the good parts of that relationship. And the good usually will outweigh the bad, because the good is so much more quality and stronger, those good times. And they carry so much weight. And so uh, just a little word of encouragement there to, to uh, get your thoughts. Because if you can get your thinking right, then your speech will follow 
what's in your heart and what's in your mind and it'll start coming out and before long you'll be talking good things all the time and you won't waste time repeating things you can't do anything about or things that are negative. So anyway, I didn't really mean to get off on all of that, but it's all right if we do that. Uh, here's a song that, you know, I remember years ago a guy came to me and he said, do you have any vertical songs? I didn't know what he meant. I, you know, I'm just no country boy. I said, uh, what, what do you mean? He said, you know, like songs that are like between you and go straight to God, like you're talking to him. And, and I got to thinking and, and uh, you know, so many of my songs are about family and examples of, of good family and, and memories. And, and, but here's a song that I guess is probably the closest thing to a vertical song that I have. And it's just a song between me and the Lord. It's called, I Like Being With You. <laughs> If I had all that I wanted, where would I live? Who would I love? And what would be most important? But I know the answer to these thoughts when I think of all I've been through. Oh, wow. that old screen. There was 
know about now, he's probably dead. such a good time uh, filming all those videos and and I'm I'm still holding out that we're gonna get something here pretty quick I'm ready to get you a new video out there and uh, especially excited about some of the ones I know we've taped and just need to they just need to be edited and put together but I'm also excited about the new ones that are going to be coming on and uh, you know I, I, you probably can tell, I, I try to skip around and not sing, the, sing all the same songs every time. But you know, it's easy to see that I've got some favorites that I like. You know, a favorite is not just a song and the instrumentation, but it's the feeling. It's, it's that, it, you can just tell, you know, it, it, it's the audience response, it's your response, it's, it's how you feel when you're doing it. It's kind of like this one right here, and I, I'm going to do it again for you. I've already prayed. Silent stairs this morning say She didn't make it through the night I'm still trying to Except she's really gone Thirty years of love and dreams are so hard to let go of, of the memories and the family that we made. We'll live on as I lean on my faith. I've already prayed. I've been in touch. Jesus loves me and I know how much cause when times get tough God's faith kicks in oh and even though I struggle through something I don't hope will always come with each new day Down the street 
to try and lend a hand. Oh, and through the broken glass, the old man forced to smile. So I leaned in as he began to fade. Oh, and what he said just took my breath away. confidence in whatever comes your way because you've you put a little prayer deposit in the bank you know who you are you know who he is and you know that he loves you and he wants to help you in whatever situation you've already prayed it's going to be all right i tell you i've been troubled before in my life about certain little things and and someone would just come by who had who was kind of tuned in to the lord you know and they would say I prayed about this and this, I want you to know it's all right. And this something would come over you and you just know that uh, somebody had already prayed and you might as well stop all that worrying and don't do no good anyway. And uh, everything's going to be all right. Wow. And I, I kind of felt something on that one. Robert Feathers, Eve Larkin. Thank you so much. I love you being here, Eve. Let's see who else we've got here. Nancy Boomhauer. Loretta Goodman, Sonny Walker, Shirley Hall Pierce. That's a good that's a good one. Angela Angela Dolores Palicio Stevens. I tell you, that's that's a name right there, but I'm gonna do this one for you tonight. Mama and Jesus. On a hill in an old white frame house at a chair she would kneel. My burdens were lifted every time she spoke my name. Yeah, God smiled at the devil.
you can get that CD. Uh, the number will be up on the screen anytime and you can call that number after the show or you can go straight to the website and get it yourself. There it is. And uh, we want you guys to get this music because it, it's just like you hear here. It's just, it's just going to encourage you. And uh, it, you know, you know, I talked about it during the holiday season, giving the gift of music. And I want you to know that's a great gift, and many of you did that, and we thank you for it. But it's a great gift all through the year. You, you run into people who are discouraged. You know, we're in that week where people are making new commitments, new resolutions, and, and they're, they're working hard. And, and so many of them will crash and, and burn, so to speak, here in just a few days because... Whatever it is, don't work out, and they'll be discouraged. And this music, I'm telling you, will help them. And so I encourage you, if you, if you know somebody, uh, get them some music so they can be a part of, a, of this overcoming crowd. Anyway, Lila Lorraine Knuckles, good to see you. Uh, who else we got here? Anybody new? Connie Holcomb? I think uh, Tiffany Carruthers. Uh, looks like... Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I may have missed a few, but anyway. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting my boys tonight. They're still around. Uh, I guess if they come in here, then we'll, we'll get to cut up with them a little bit, but we'll wait and see what happens here. I want to do this song for you. It's, uh, what happened there? It's called Infected by Grace. It's become a favorite here on Mission Country on the Road. Infected by grace, I'm looking for a cure. See, it's out of my hands, not up to me anymore. Nothing I do will change where I stand. So I rest in His righteousness, infected by grace. Hey, buddy, glad you could join me tonight. Now a little bit of grace goes a long, long way. And where you miss the mark, his favor congregates. So if you think that my old life is all I deserve, think again. Do will change. 
I see you a while away for any rock, right? for a cure You see it's out of my hands not up to me anymore see what we can do here. Here's one that uh, I like to do. It's uh, just a songwriter laying my heart on the line telling stories, painting pictures Melodies and words that rhyme People ask me how I do it What makes a lyric win I say we all have inspiration I've seen it time and time again I'm quick to take the credit for the songs that come my way. Knowing just above the paper, I can't help with what I say. Like brush strokes on the white canvas. Perfect blend, and I'm applauded as the master. All I did was hold the The songwriter lives within me, and though he's never seen, he gives silent inspiration. so much for participating and winning and uh, of course you know to uh, they'll be getting your information uh, so we can send you that CD uh, it'll be going out let's see probably go out Monday so uh, it's coming your way David Lee Shelby 
uh, is our winner. Let's give him a round of applause there, Easton. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Everybody likes to win stuff, don't they? You like to win stuff, don't you? I understand that uh, we went to Cracker Barrel today, and you've got a little something. What'd you get? A very cool old truck and door truck. A very cool old truck, right? Yeah. I'll go get it. You don't have to. No, stay right here. We don't have time for you to jump down. But you like it. You've been playing with it all day since you got it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think about these uh, grandkids and taking them uh, out to eat and buying them stuff. And, you know, when we were kids, it was, we, we knew better to even ask. We, we knew that we were probably going to get told no. And uh, I always like to mess with them a little bit and tell them no to start with, but I usually cave and... Uh, Easton got a nice old truck, and Clay got him a nice old truck, and now Austin, the little one, he picked up a fiddle, some kind of little fiddle, and uh, they've been playing with these toys ever since we got back, so they're, they're having a big time. Hey, thank you so much, and uh, I want to say once again on the screen there, David Lee Shelby, thank you so much for being our winner tonight. Betty Edwards Card, I'm so glad to see your name, and I haven't forgotten about you. When I don't see your name, I'm thinking about you. Betty's been with us, uh, I guess, about since the beginning. And, uh, and you know, when God connects people together and connects our hearts together, and uh, we, we, we encourage one another and, and things, it's just the way it's supposed to be. And so thank you so much for being on here tonight. There's Aunt Judy. She's uh, Anthony Miller's on there. Mona Hickey. Who else we got here? Helen Morrison. Nancy Boomhauer. Yep, I believe I got all of them. But, uh, man, I'm glad you joined me tonight. Uh, you, you're getting to spend two nights with us. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to tell you all a little secret. Easton was hoping that he could come by himself. You know, grandkids like some attention. And uh, he wanted to come by himself, didn't you? But he's got two brothers that just absolutely wasn't going to have it. Right? They said, we got to go. You want to talk about that? Is that what happened? Because big brother Eli went to stay with Gage, and you were going to come stay with us, but them two little brothers wasn't going to stay at home. They, they're coming to me, mom, and cat daddy's too, weren't they? So I guess we'll have to try again next time. What do you say? <laughs> but we've done pretty good. You, you got to go out and eat today. We took a little walk today. Meemaw had a hair appointment. She took care of that. And while they were gone, I had to watch these boys. And they can't believe it. But uh, we got our coats on and got all warmed up. And, and we took out and walked down Music Row there and went down to what we call Naked Circle. And... Uh, we went over to the Bradley Park and seen the, the, the sculpture there with Mr. Owen Bradley on the piano. Yeah, remember that? Even that golden like, thing? Yeah, yeah. Ring. And we walked around and uh, I tell you what, it was cold but uh, we enjoyed it. Now I had to carry the little one on the way back. He, he was tired of walking and he was getting cold but we had a good time. And that's what it's about, being with family and we don't get to be with them near as much as we want to, but uh, thank God for these special times when we do get to spend some time. So anyway, that's what you're doing here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm, I haven't got to see you much. Yeah, you have. I've been here the whole time. Except it was a long time. I'm seeing each other. So I, I, I was kind of missing you, so I just wanted to go with oh. see you. Well, I know it, and I'm glad you came. And uh, I've got to spend time with you. Now, we had to share some time with them two brothers, but, you know, they want to spend time, too. You can't blame them, right? That's right. All right, well, let's do this song again for them. What do you say? Hey, folks, thank you for joining us tonight. Well... Good morning, Jesus. Yes, it's me again. But I did. 
didn't call this time to get forgiveness for all those sins. I called and talked to Daddy, and I know he's there with you. And Lord, if you got a phone up in heaven,
those last few days Held her hand and I heard her say Son, you're beautiful and I love you There's no doubt Oh, but what I would give To hear her say Could you run me to town today? Forget, we'll be on tomorrow, and we love you so much. Thank you.